So I am Katrina Carter. I am the founder of Incapable Bondage. We are a nonprofit organization that spreads awareness to domestic violence, mental health, and trauma. And so that's, that is what um, my incorporation does. That is how we spread awareness to domestic violence, mental health, and trauma. Um, I tell my story as well at my events. Um, I'm a survivor of domestic violence. I'm also a mental health warrior. Um, through the trauma of abandonment myself, through um, domestic violence, I was diagnosed with PTSD. I was diagnosed with anxiety and severe depression. And so how I incorporated my own nonprofit organization in that was, I know I'm not the only person that has gone through certain things in life and need to be able to see someone else that has healed from it on a different level. So with me going through those things and being diagnosed with depression, not knowing what my triggers were, I had to learn that um, not being one to be in closed spaces or crowded areas that caused my anxiety to flare. But if you don't know, right what that is and you don't know that that's what's going on you seem to just go through life thinking that it's normal so with the events I come up with different themes because I wanted to be fun um, and I wanted to be um, enlightening and empowering as well so color me healed is one of the events that I actually am organizing and everyone will come dressed in their favorite color they will um, bring their favorite snacks Right. And so while they bring all of these things, the twist to it is, is that I'm going to say, OK, you like black. Why do you like black? Because we incorporate black with being down and sad and deaf and things like that. And a lot of people love the color black. Right. Um, and then I'm going to talk about pinks and reds and what colors can cause anxiety? Because if you don't know, right, when you go and you decorate your home, there are colors that can actually cause you to feel down and depressed all the time. So that's why when you go to paint your rooms and you go to Home Depot and those places, they want you to, to get those pretty vibrant colors, but not too vibrant, right? And that's the thing with colors. Um, another thing that I incorporate is letting you understand the, when you don't heal properly, right how you can just keep putting things on the back burner so one of the activities I'm, i do during the events as well um, everyone is going to play rock paper scissors because i know everybody loves playing rock paper scissors and then all of the winners are going to line up in the front and everyone that lost is going to line up in the back the trick to that is is that everyone's going to have a card and that card is going to incorporate trauma so it's going to either be depression, it's going to be anxiety, it's going to be abandonment, it's going to be all of those things, right? And I'm going to pull them out of, the, out of the line and put them in the front or in the middle. And that's going to show how when you don't get the help and healing that you need, you've pushed it on the back burner. But if you've been triggered by something, it's going to hurry up and go on back to the front of the line. And then you have to feel like you have to start all over again. Because again, our motto for my Incapable Bondage Foundation is healing is a process that takes reliving what has hurt you in order to walk in your purpose. And in order for you to walk in your purpose, you got to go back to your childhood and say, this is what happened. You have to face those not so good things in order for you to be able to heal.